Welcome to the video lecture. In this video, we are going to find the mean square error for the given data points. Mean square error is the average square difference between finding the average square difference between the estimated and the true values. So there are steps to find the MSE and the first step is finding the equation of the regression line just of this form and then we have to find the new values of yi and subtracting the new values from the true values of yi and then finding the squares of the previous step and then sum up all these squares and then the final step is finding the MSE by dividing the summation of y minus y bar whole square by n, where n is the number of data variables given. So consider the given data points 1 comma 1, 2 comma 1, 3 comma 2, 4 comma 2 and 5 comma 4. So for these given data points we are going to find the mean squared error. So the first step is to find the equation of the regression line which is of, uh, of the form y is equal to ax plus b. And the regression of y on x is given by the formula y minus y, y bar is equal to b y i x y, sorry b y x into x minus x bar, where x bar and y bar are the mean values of x and y. And b y x can be calculated from summation of x minus x bar into y minus y bar on the whole divided by summation of x minus x bar whole square. So the first step can be calculated. Uh, from the table by constructing this table and these are the given values 1 comma 1, 2 comma 1, 3 comma 2, 4 comma 2, 5 comma 4 are the given values mentioned here and from these values first is first step is to find the x bar and y bar from these given values and then we have to find these columns values of these columns. So x bar and y bar is given by adding these values, finding the mean of these values x and y and x bar is 3 and y bar is 2. So from the values of x bar and y bar we can calculate these columns. So 1 minus 3 is equal to minus 2, 2 minus 3 which is equal to minus 1, likewise 3 minus 3, 4 minus 3, 5 minus 3. So in the same way 1 minus 2, 1 minus 2, 2 minus 2, 2 minus 2 and 4 minus 2 which is equal to 2. So from these values we can calculate these two columns x minus x bar whole square from this column and x minus x bar y minus y bar by from these two columns. So the values of these columns can be calculated and the summation values are then calculated. So we got the values for these summations. So by substituting the values in the given function b y x uh, formula, we can get the value of b y x. And then substituting the value of b y x in the in the regression line formula to form the regression line. So we can substitute the x bar and y bar value along with b y x value so that the final regression line equation is y is equal to 0.7x minus 0.1. So this is the first step in finding the MSE and the second, third, fourth and fifth step can be calculated by constructing this table and these are the values given, given data points and this is the regression line we have formed just now in step 1 and from this regression line we are going to predict the values of yi that is the new values of yi we are going to find the new values of yi by substituting the values of x in the regression line so for each value of x substituting the value of x here and then finding the new value of yi so the new values of yi are 0 0.6 1.3 2 2.7 3.4 and then from this from this column we are going to find this values by subtracting the new values of yi from the actual values of y so subtracting the estimated value from the true value so after subtracting we got these values and then square of these values will result here will be result in like here and the summation of yi minus yi bar whole square can be calculated from these values. So the final step is finding the mean square error 
The formula for finding the mean square error is 1 by n summation i is equal to 1 to n yi minus yi bar whole square. So these value we have calculated in the previous uh, table. So substituting the value divided by 5 which is the value for n and then we got the mean square error value for the given data point as 0.22. So this is the mean square error for the given data point. So this is the steps these are the steps we have to follow to find the mean square error for the given data points and there is also another metric called root mean square error which is nothing but the square root of the mean square error so rmse is the average distance between the predicted and actual value while mse is the average square difference between the predicted and actual value so the formula for finding the rmse is square root of mse so thank you for watching the video.